It's hard to believe that back in 2008, there were only 7,500 apps available. Now, in 2016, there are 2.6 million apps with an additional 60,000 added every month. With this many apps, companies need to ensure quality, performance, and overall user experience. CA App Experience Analytics provides analytics and visibility over the app lifecycle. The new Data Studio tab allows you to create custom visualizations and dashboards as well as present your data using a variety of charts, maps, and tables. Now you can make your app monitoring twice as effective by integrating with CA Application Performance Management. You still have all the tools provided by CA App Experience Analytics and now will have access to the CA APM Team Center and WebView. Combining the strength of CA AXA and CA APM, you will be able to identify problems at any time and track issues end to end. Early detection of a problem helps address the problem before degraded performance affects the end user. Let's take a look at a demonstration of the integration at work. In this demonstration, a user has had a less than 5 star mobile application experience. You will see the visibility into key metrics using CA App Experience Analytics, as well as the key metrics using the integration with CA APM. A user has reported issues with the mobile app TixChange. The first step in the triage process is to look into the metrics with CA App Experience Analytics. We can see that there have been 84 crashes. To the right, the flag sessions are listed. Let's take a look at all sessions. Notice that the second session shown is red. We will look into this session. We can now see the details of the mobile app. What time the session started, the location, the device and operating system, the carrier, the customer, and if they left feedback. We can now see more details about the session over time including any screenshots of the app on the mobile device. Notice the transaction events including transaction, application, view, network status, and custom events. We will talk about event types in a later video. Next we will look at transactions. By clicking a specific transaction, we can get a more in-depth look at the transactions. Clicking on an individual event will generate the selected event details. We will now view the metrics using CAAPM. Click Filter By to expand the menu. There are different sorting options. as well as sort by individual business transaction or selecting all. To examine when a problem occurred at a specific time, click Time Range. By clicking the Perspective drop-down menu, we can filter by different perspectives such as type, location, business transaction, and application. When the transaction is selected, to the right we can see errors per interval, differential analysis, as well as average response time metrics. We are also able to see the alert summary with status, alert intensity, and variance intensity. Clicking the blame point metrics will launch the investigator. We now see the TixChange Web 2 host is showing four errors. We can investigate by business transaction component locations.
from here, we will look into traces. There are the options for summary view, trace view, and tree view. Let's take a look at the trace view. By clicking on the graph, we can see in this particular case, backends. Component details are listed below. From here, we can see the properties of the business segment that was processed. Under Business Segment, let's take a look at the overview. We will now look deeper into the back ends to find our problem. We have effectively used CA App Experience Analytics and the integration with CA APM to triage and troubleshoot the problematic application. Mm -hmm.